Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we will be going over how you can import images into Core. To do this, it's simpler than it seems. There is a few precautions you have to take. Anyways, let's get into it. To start off, you want to have a project that you have these images in. So this would be image import tutorial. Once you have this loaded up, you want to grab the game portal template in the core content tab. Drag this into your hierarchy. Let's move this up into here. The next thing that you want to do is you want to put the shape into this, or you can really put it into anything you want. I'll have it as a square. You want to put the view distortion amount to zero. You want to get the edge distortion to zero. The radio mask, you want to have this at a range of two. Then you want to have the disable swirl and edge. Then we need to get the images into a game screenshot. So let's close this. From here, we can do create new and create a new project. This should be screen shots uploading one. We put five images per game, but using a bit of a method I'll explain later, you can have up to 20. But it's not really recommended unless you're doing something like video importing, which I am working on a video importer with player one. Well, we're just using it for uploading Shrek at the moment. But it does use a technique that allows us to have 20 images per game. And if we are confident with it, we may release it to the public as well. So anyways, you want to publish game. You can name this whatever you want. You can have all this stuff in. Then you want to go to screenshots. Here you can really select anything. I'm just going to pictures. I'm going to select something random. This a screenshot from here. We can do unlisted and review and publish. Publish unlisted. We can copy the link, close out of this, and close out of this. We can go back to image import tutorial. Then if you go to the game portal, you can go on the game ID, copy this and get rid of this section here. So only the number and the name remain. Next, you want to disable this. Now, as you can see, we now have our image in here. Let's actually make the mask hardness one as well. Okay, that's that. But let's see when I have a GIF in here. That's a bit. This is the image from a GIF. As you can see, you can't upload GIFs as the actual uh, screenshots. So, the way you can do that, I'm not actually going to show how to do it fully, how to code everything. I do have a system for that. I'm not releasing it to the public yet as. It's currently still not fully ready for public release. We're still working on it. But anyways, you can just cycle the screenshot index. If you have more than one screenshot, it will switch to it. So let's move on to the precautions side. Now, even though this may seem like it may cause lag to have this in here, believe it or not, you can have thousands of these in your game. And the other thing is that three Im single images, yeah, but if you make a GIF importer like I mentioned earlier, which is actually easier than it sounds, it would just be cycling the game IDs that you have a string of and the screenshot indexes. If I have it released, I'll let you know in the comments. I hope you can comment saying so. So that would be rate limited because I was talking to one of the Manticore employees and they did say that the core game get info is limited, it's rate limited, 
and this could also apply to images, the single images as well. What this would mean, if you have a few hundred of these in your game, in different ones, it may take a bit to load. Just saying. The weight limit at the moment right now is, I think, 12 per minute, but you can do in rates of up to, I think, 200, 500 at a time, a whole bunch at a time. So if it's single images, it should load a few hundred of them just fine. And then the rest would load in a bit, like in a minute or so. But other than that, it's pretty good. The GIFs, though, or videos, whatever you want to put with the other things, would be a bit more weight limited, which we encountered earlier. I'm going to pull up a video of that in just a moment. So as you can see here, this is the opening scene of Shrek using the importer that I made. Once again, it's up to you to make your own for now. And I will say in the comments if the one that we made is released, the one that player one and I have been working on. But the issue, as you can see with the gifts, is there's lots of frame drops and it's not too stable. Ignore the up and down motion, that's an issue with my code. But every once in a while you encounter black screens. Not this, this is a info screen. But in some cases you will. That's one thing you do want to watch out for because the images themselves are quite big in size. A few megabytes possibly, a few hundred kilobytes. So that will mean the player has to download them the second they're shown. Play with Wi-Fi can't download it, then it won't be shown in time, so it'll just be giving a black screen as far as I know. So that's the main issue with uploading GIFs in this style. After this clip finishes playing, I will show off the other system that I've made for importing images and videos using Pixels. It's a lot more laggy if you have multiple of them, but for one, it's play smoother, but being a low resolution, but it's more stable and it loads faster. Let's watch this tip finish. Once again, you can ignore the up and down motion. That's just an issue with my code. It's, I'll show it in a minute what's actually going on. So, if you go into the here, I'm going to go down to the UV offset. It's actually changing because we have four images stored in one image. So I just need to tweak those numbers. Other than that, it works just fine. And some other uses for this, I want to show off first how an example of UI, you can attach this to UI by using the attach to local view function on a core object while it's implying context. And you can do something like, let me put this back on to visibility for on. We have to do things like this. We have the images shown in the actual UI. Once again, that will require some coding knowledge, but it's not that complicated. And onto the GIF, I mean, the Pixel style of importing images and GIFs. I have it here. Let's open it up. The issue with this one is it's a slow, not slow, but there's a bit of time where it takes to load at the beginning. Oh, it's, yep, I forgot it's not fully working. But basically the way it works is if I open this up, I just pass through a whole bunch of IDs as you can see here. And it goes on a long way. So I have a Python script that automates all of this, but it still takes a bit of time. I'm going to pull up a quick clip I have recorded before this to show what it looks like. I still have to get this hopefully working. I mean, it's working. I just modified it so it doesn't work anymore. 
So let's watch the clip. As you can see, it's playing Bad Apple by Tohu. It's the, uh, I guess, shadow art of the video. The one thing you may notice is it's pixelated. That's because it's 144 by 144. And even that doesn't sound like a lot. It's 20,000 pixels though that's constantly updating. Not constantly, but whenever the color changes, it updates. There's a few hundred, if not a few thousand pixels changing color per frame on average. Anyways, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I helped you out. You're either one, um, lots of you enjoy tutorial, it's not really something that that's meant for enjoying. A quick thing is if you're wondering about when the next devlog of my Minecraft clone is coming out, I'm figuring I'm not going to do one until I finish the game, as I'm not really getting that much done per week or per devlog on it. So probably once I get the whole game finished up, I will release a big devlog that's probably going to be a few hours long, not a few hours, but like an hour long, showing everything and having game released to the public so anyone can use any of the code in there. It will be fully open source, the whole build generation, inventory systems, everything. As of right now, it's not that far along from the last devlog I had pretty noise and it's not implemented, but block breaking, all that kind of stuff, but not too much. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, and please consider liking and subscribing the video, it helps out a lot.